Flagellum, Wikipedia Audio A flagellum is a lash-like appendage that protrudes from the cell body of certain bacterial and eukaryotic cells. The similar structure in the archaea functions in the same way but is structurally different and has been termed the archaeum. The word flagellum in Latin means whip. The primary role of the flagellum is locomotion, but it also often has function as a sensory organelle, being sensitive to chemicals and temperatures outside the cell. Flagella are organelles defined by function rather than structure. Large differences occur between different types of flagella, the prokaryotic and eukaryotic flagella differ greatly in protein composition, structure, and mechanism of propulsion. However, both can be used for swimming. An example of a flagellated bacterium is the ulcer-causing Helicobacter pylori, which uses multiple flagella to propel itself through the mucus lining to reach the stomach epithelium. An example of a eukaryotic flagellate cell is the mammalian sperm cell, which uses its flagellum to propel itself through the female reproductive tract. Eukaryotic flagella are structurally identical to eukaryotic cilia, although distinctions are sometimes made according to function or length. Fimbriae and pili are also thin appendages, but have different functions and are usually smaller. Three types of flagella have so far been distinguished, bacterial, archaeal, and eukaryotic. Types The main differences among these three types are The bacterial flagellum is made up of the protein flagellin. Its shape is a 20 nanometer thick hollow tube. It is helical and has a sharp bend just outside the outer membrane. This hook allows the axis of the helix to point directly away from the cell. A shaft runs between the hook and the basal body, passing through protein rings in the cell's membrane that act as bearings. Gram-positive organisms have two of these basal body rings, one in the peptidoglycan layer and one in the plasma membrane. Gram-negative organisms have four such rings, the L-ring associates with the lipopolysaccharides, the P-ring associates with peptidoglycan layer, the M-ring is embedded in the plasma membrane, and the S-ring is directly attached to the plasma membrane. The filament ends with a capping protein. Bacterial flagella are helical filaments, each with a rotary motor at its base which can turn clockwise or counterclockwise. They provide two of several kinds of bacterial motility. Archaeal flagella are superficially similar to bacterial flagella, but are different in many details and considered non-homologous. Eukaryotic flagella those of animal, plant, and protist cells are complex cellular projections that lash back and forth. Eukaryotic flagella are classed along with eukaryotic modal cilia as undulopodia to emphasize their distinctive wavy appendage role in cellular function or motility. Primary cilia are immotile, and are not undulopodia, they have a structurally different 9 plus 0 axoneme rather than the 9 plus 2 axoneme found in both flagella and modal cilia undulopodia. The flagellar filament is the long, helical screw that propels the bacterium when rotated by the motor, through the hook. In most bacteria that have been studied, including the gram-negative Escherichia coli, Salmonella typhimurium, Colobacter crescentus, and Vibrio alginolyticus, the filament is made up of 11 protofilaments approximately parallel to the filament axis. Each protofilament is a series of tandem protein chains. However, Campylobacter jejuni has seven protofilaments. The basal body has several traits in common with some types of secretory pores, such as the hollow, rod-like plug in their centers extending out through the plasma membrane. Given the structural similarities between bacterial flagella and bacterial secretory systems, 
bacterial flagella may have evolved from the type 3 secretion system, however, whether these pores are derived from the bacterial flagella or the bacterial secretory system is not known for certain. The bacterial flagellum is driven by a rotary engine made up of protein, located at the flagellum's anchor point on the inner cell membrane. The engine is powered by proton motive force, i.e., by the flow of protons across the bacterial cell membrane due to a concentration gradient set up by the cell's metabolism. The rotor transports protons across the membrane, and is turned in the process. The rotor alone can operate at 6,000 to 17,000 rpm, but with the flagellar filament attached usually only reaches 200 to 1,000 rpm. The direction of rotation can be changed by the flagellar motor switch almost instantaneously, caused by a slight change in the position of a protein, FLIG, in the rotor. The flagellum is highly energy efficient and uses very little energy. The exact mechanism for torque generation is still poorly understood. Because the flagellar motor has no on-off switch, the protein EPSE is used as a mechanical clutch to disengage the motor from the rotor, thus stopping the flagellum and allowing the bacterium to remain in one place. The cylindrical shape of flagella is suited to locomotion of microscopic organisms, these organisms operate at a low Reynolds number, where the viscosity of the surrounding water is much more important than its mass or inertia. The rotational speed of flagella varies in response to the intensity of the proton motive force, thereby permitting certain forms of speed control and also permitting some types of bacteria to attain remarkable speeds in proportion to their size, some achieve roughly 60 cell lengths per second. At such a speed, a bacterium would take about 245 days to cover 1 km, although that may seem slow, the perspective changes when the concept of scale is introduced. In comparison to macroscopic life forms, it is very fast indeed when expressed in terms of number of body lengths per second. A cheetah, for example, only achieves about 25 body lengths per second. Monotrichous bacteria have a single flagellum, Lophotrichous bacteria have multiple flagella located at the same spot on the bacterial surfaces which act in concert to drive the bacteria in a single direction. In many cases, the bases of multiple flagella are surrounded by a specialized region of the cell membrane, the so-called polar organelle. Amphitrichous bacteria have a single flagellum on each of two opposite ends, peritrichous bacteria have flagella projecting in all directions. Through use of their flagella, E. coli is able to move rapidly towards attractants and away from repellents by means of a biased random walk, with runs and tumbles brought about by rotating its flagellum counterclockwise and clockwise, respectively. The two directions of rotation are not identical and are selected by a molecular switch. During flagellar assembly, components of the flagellum pass through the hollow cores of the basal body and the nascent filament. During assembly, Protein components are added at the flagellar tip rather than at the base. In vitro, flagellar filaments assemble spontaneously in a solution containing purified flagellin as the sole protein. Bacterial flagella are motorized by a flow of H and ions. Archaeal flagella are almost certainly powered by ADP. The torque generating motor that powers rotation of the archaeal flagellum has not been identified, while bacterial cells often have many flagellar filaments, each of which rotates independently, the archaeal flagellum is composed of a bundle of many filaments that rotates as a single assembly, bacterial flagella grow by the addition of flagellin subunits at the tip, archaeal flagella grow by the addition of subunits to the base, 
bacterial flagella are thicker than archaella, and the bacterial filament has a large enough hollow tube inside that the flagellin subunits can flow up the inside of the filament and get added at the tip, the archaeum is too thin to allow this. Many components of bacterial flagella share sequence similarity to components of the type 3 secretion systems, but the components of bacterial flagella and archaella share no sequence similarity. Instead, some components of archaella share sequence and morphological similarity with components of type 4 pili, which are assembled through the action of type 2 secretion systems. Bacterial At least 10 protein components of the bacterial flagellum share homologous proteins with the type 3 secretion system, hence one likely evolved from the other. Because the TTSS has a similar number of components as a flagellar apparatus, which one evolved first is difficult to determine. However, the flagellar system appears to involve more proteins overall, including various regulators and chaperones, hence it has been argued that flagella evolved from a TTSS. However, it has also been suggested that the flagellum may have evolved first or the two structures evolved in parallel. Early single-cell organisms need for motility support that the more mobile flagella would be selected by evolution first but the TTSS evolving from the flagellum can be seen as reductive evolution, and receives no topological support from the phylogenetic trees. The hypothesis that the two structures evolved separately from a common ancestor accounts for the protein similarities between the two structures, as well as their functional diversity. Some authors have argued that flagella cannot have evolved because they can only function properly when all proteins are in place. In other words, the flagellar apparatus is irreducibly complex. This has long been debunked, because many proteins can be deleted or mutated and the flagellum still works, though sometimes at reduced efficiency. In addition, the composition of flagella is surprisingly diverse across bacteria, with many proteins only found in some species, but not others. Hence, the flagellar apparatus is clearly very flexible in evolutionary terms and perfectly able to lose or gain protein components. For instance, a number of mutations have been found that increase the motility of E. coli. Additional evidence for the evolution of bacterial flagella includes the existence of vestigial flagella, intermediate forms of flagella and patterns of similarities among flagellar protein sequences, including the observation that almost all of the core flagellar proteins have known homologies with non-flagellar proteins. Furthermore, Several processes have been identified as playing important roles in flagellar evolution, including self-assembly of simple repeating subunits, gene duplication with subsequent divergence, recruitment of elements from other systems and recombination. Different species of bacteria have different numbers and arrangements of flagella. In certain large forms of Selenomonas, more than 30 individual flagella are organized outside the cell body, helically twining about each other to form a thick structure called a fascicle. Other bacteria, such as most spirochetes, have two or more specialized flagella arising from opposite poles of the cell, which together constitute the so-called axial filament that is located within the periplasmic space between the flexible cell wall and an outer sheath. The rotation of the axial filament relative to the cell body causes the entire bacterium to move forward in a corkscrew-like motion, even through material viscous enough to prevent the passage of normally flagellated bacteria. Counterclockwise rotation of a monotrichous polar flagellum pushes the cell forward with the flagellum trailing behind, much like a corkscrew moving inside cork. Indeed, 
water on the microscopic scale is highly viscous, very different from our daily experience of water. Flagella are left-handed helices and bundle and rotate together only when rotating counterclockwise. When some of the rotors reverse direction, the flagella unwind and the cell starts tumbling. Even if all flagella would rotate clockwise, they likely will not form a bundle, due to geometrical, as well as hydrodynamic reasons. Such tumbling may happen occasionally, leading to the cell seemingly thrashing about in place, resulting in the reorientation of the cell. The clockwise rotation of a flagellum is suppressed by chemical compounds favorable to the cell, but the motor is highly adaptive to this. Therefore, when moving in a favorable direction, the concentration of the chemical attractant increases and tumbles are continually suppressed, however, when the cell's direction of motion is unfavorable, tumbles are no longer suppressed and occur much more often, with the chance that the cell will be thus reoriented in the correct direction. Structure and Composition Motor In some Vibrio species and related proteobacteria such as Aeromonas, two flagellar systems CO exist using different sets of genes and different ion gradients for energy. The polar flagella are constitutively expressed and provide motility in bulk fluid, while the lateral flagella are expressed when the polar flagella meet too much resistance to turn. These provide swarming motility on surfaces or in viscous fluids. Whiplash flagella, without hairs, e.g., in a pisthocontat, Hairy flagella, with hairs, divided in, with fine hairs, occurs in Euglenophyce, Dinoflagellata, some Haptophyce, with stiff hairs, divided in, bipartite hairs, with two regions. Occurs in Cryptophyce, Prasinophyce, and some Heterocontat, tripartite hairs, with three regions occurs in most heterocontat. Assembly Evolution Flagella and the Intelligent Design Debate Flagellar Arrangement Schemes Archaeal The archa elum possessed by some archaea is superficially similar to the bacterial flagellum, in the 1980s, they were thought to be homologous on the basis of gross morphology and behavior. Both flagella and archaella consist of filaments extending outside the cell, and rotate to propel the cell. Archaeal flagella have a unique structure which lacks a central channel. Similar to bacterial type 4 pillins, the archaeal flagellins are made with class 3 signal peptides and they are processed by a type 4 prepillin peptidase-like enzyme. The archaellins are typically modified by the addition of N-linked glycans which are necessary for proper assembly or function. Uniflagellated, e.g., most epistocontat, biflagellated, e.g., all dinoflagellata the gametes of Coraphyce, of most bryophytes and of some metazoans, triflagellated, e.g., the gametes of some foraminifera, quadriflagellated, e.g., some Prasinophyce, Colodictionidae, octoflagellated, e.g., some Diplomonata, some Prasinophyce, multiflagellated, e.g., Opalinata, Ciliophora, Stephanopogon, Parabasalida, Hemimastigophora, Karyoblastia, Multicilia, the gametes of Edogonials, some pteridophytes, and some gymnosperms. Discoveries in the 1990s revealed numerous detailed differences between the archaeal and bacterial flagella. These include Apisthocant Cells with flagella inserted posteriorly, e.g., in a pisthocontat. In haptophyce, 
flagella are laterally to terminally inserted, but are directed posteriorly during rapid swimming, acrocant, cells with flagella inserted apically, subacrocant, cells with flagella inserted subapically, pluricant, cells with flagella inserted laterally. These differences could mean that the bacterial flagella and archaella could be a classic case of biological analogy, or convergent evolution, rather than homology. However, in comparison to the decades of well-publicized study of bacterial flagella, archaella have only recently begun to garner scientific attention. Gliding, a flagellum that trails on the substrate, heterodynamic, flagella with different beating patterns, isodynamic, flagella beating with the same patterns. Eukaryotic Aiming to emphasize the distinction between the bacterial flagella and the eukaryotic cilia and flagella, some authors attempted to replace the name of these two eukaryotic structures with undulopodia or cilia for both ADLETAL. 2012, most papers of Cavalier Smith, preserving flagella for the bacterial structure. However, the discriminative usage of the term cilia and flagella for eukaryotes adopted in this article is still common Leadbeater ETAL, 2000. A eukaryotic flagellum is a bundle of nine fused pairs of microtubule doublets surrounding two central single microtubules. The so-called 9 plus 2 structure is characteristic of the core of the eukaryotic flagellum called an axoneme. At the base of a eukaryotic flagellum is a basal body, blepharoplast, or kinetosome which is the microtubule organizing center for flagellar microtubules and is about 500 nanometers long. Basal bodies are structurally identical to centrioles. The flagellum is encased within the cell's plasma membrane, so that the interior of the flagellum is accessible to the cell's cytoplasm. Besides the axoneme and basal body, relatively constant in morphology, other internal structures of the flagellar apparatus are the transition zone and the root system, more variable and useful as indicators of phylogenetic relationships of eukaryotes. Other structures, more uncommon, are the paraflagellar rod, the R-fiber, and the S-fiber. For surface structures, see below. Each of the outer nine doublet microtubules extends a pair of dynean arms to the adjacent microtubule, these produce force through ADP hydrolysis. The flagellar axoneme also contains radial spokes, polypeptide complexes extending from each of the outer nine microtubule doublets towards the central pair, with the head of the spoke facing inwards. The radial spoke is thought to be involved in the regulation of flagellar motion, although its exact function and method of action are not yet understood. The regular beat patterns of eukaryotic cilia and flagella generate motion on a cellular level. Examples range from the propulsion of single cells such as the swimming of spermatozoa to the transport of fluid along a stationary layer of cells such as in the respiratory tract. Though eukaryotic flagella and modal cilia are ultrastructurally identical, the beating pattern of the two organelles can be different. In the case of flagella, the motion is often planar and wave-like, whereas the modal cilia often perform a more complicated three-dimensional motion with a power and recovery stroke. Intraflagellar Transport the process by which axon ML subunits, transmembrane receptors, and other proteins are moved up and down the length of the flagellum, is essential for proper functioning of the flagellum, in both motility and signal transduction. Eukaryotic flagella or cilia, probably an ancestral characteristic, are widespread in almost all groups of eukaryotes, as a relatively perennial condition or as a flagellated life cycle stage. Terminology 
The first situation is found either in specialized cells of multicellular organisms, as in ciliates and many eukaryotes with a flagellate condition. Flagellated life cycle stages are found in many groups, e.g., many green algae, bryophytes, pteridophytes, some gymnosperms, centric diatoms, brown algae, umicetes, hyphocatrids, labyrinth hylomycetes, some apicomplexans, some radiolarians, foraminiferans, plasmodioforomycetes, myxogastrids, metazoans, and chytrid fungi. Isocant, cells with flagella of equal length. It was also formerly used to refer to the chlorophyta, and isocant, cells with flagella of unequal length, e.g., some euglenophyce and prosenophyce, heterocant, term introduced by Luther to refer to the xanthophyce, due to the pair of flagella of unequal length. It has taken on a specific meaning in referring to cells with an anterior strominipolis flagellum and a posterior usually smooth flagellum. It is also used to refer to the taxon heterocantat, stephanocont, cells with a crown of flagella near its anterior end, e.g., the gametes, and spores of edogonials, the spores of some bryopsidals. Term introduced by Blackman and Tansley to refer to the edogonials, acont, cells without flagella. It was also used to refer to taxonomic groups, as aconta, or aconta, the zygnematophyce and bacillariophyce, or the rhodophyce. Internal structure Flagella or cilia are completely absent in some groups probably due to a loss rather than being a primitive condition. The loss of cilia occurred in red algae, some green algae, the gymnosperms except cycads and ginkgo, angiosperms, pennate diatoms, some apicomplexans, some amoebozoans, in the sperm of some metazoans, and in fungi. A number of terms related to flagella or cilia are used to characterize eukaryotes. According to surface structures present, flagella may be Mechanism Flagella vs. cilia Intraflagellar transport According to the number of flagella, cells may be According to the place of insertion of the flagella According to the beating pattern. Other terms related to the flagellar type. This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Chambers, Ephraim, ed. Article name needed. Cyclopedia, or an Universal Dictionary of Arts and Sciences. James and John Napton, ETL. Evolution and Occurrence Typology